Plans are underway tonight for the biggest subdivision in Groves in about 35 years. KFTM's Lauren Hewitt investigates the impact on the town's economy and what the development will look like when homes replace the now closed golf course. Johnny Simpson owns this home next to the Pea Patch Golf Course. It's closed, but there is a plan to bring new life to the surrounding area. I think it's going to be all right. I believe it, it, it probably upgrade the whole area over here, I hope. We're currently reorganizing a little bit of the green spaces to provide a larger park area in the very center of the neighborhood, and they'll have the walking paths all the way around. A Beaumont-based real estate development company bought the property late last year. It was a unique opportunity with a very large uh, parcel of land and groves, which really is hard to find. And with this opportunity, we're going to be able to have a master planned 177 unit residential subdivision. A plan to create a gated community, Indian Springs, with winding streets and green space. With the curved streets, when you look down the road, you get a better and a more open feel uh, between the homes. Albanese Cormier also owns a gated community in Nederland called Sterling Ridge. Tom Cormier says the new development, Indian Springs, will look very similar to Sterling Ridge and will also have a park like this one in the center of the development. Yeah, that's the biggest subdivision to be built and grows in probably 35 years. The city manager says the development could generate $30 million in new value to Groves. I think it is fantastic. It is a tremendous boost in our arm. We're landlocked. A city with a historic golf course closed, but new opportunities opening in its place. In Groves, Lauren Hewitt, KFDM 6 News. The developer plans to break ground early next year.